Welcome back, guys, to another part of Marvel Spider-Man. Uh, so, in terms of the last uh, section of the game, hey, Spidey, what you looking at? Um. Okay. Oh man, this guy. Day for somber reflection. For mourning, <sighs> honoring fallen heroes like Jefferson Davis. But it's also a day to vow. It stops here. Some people say I blame everything on Spider-Man. Well, I don't blame him for the bombing. That cowardly act is squarely the responsibility of whoever committed it. If we're gonna keep New York safe, we can no longer tolerate the kind of lawlessness Spider-Man and his ilk represent. This is our city. By God, we're gonna take it back. All right, go away. Let me just pause it because I don't want the fucking bastard to interrupt me. Um, so, number one, the um, what's it called? Like Lee's revelation as be him being the bad guy. I mean, you see it coming miles away, no pun intended, um, and it's so fucking obvious. And I understand that Peter is not. A detective like Bruce Wayne, Batman, but for fuck's sakes, man, you could clearly see on his face. You can just put two plus two, and everything we saw is based on Peter Parker's uh, perspective. We're not seeing things that the character itself would not see. Like, you gotta make him more. Um, I don't want to say smart is not a matter of intelligence, but like just read between the lines, dude. The scene with Mary Jane was bad enough. This fucking shit was bad enough because there was no element of surprise. There's no like, oh my god, because for Peter it was a fucking shock. So if all we get is Peter's perspective, why don't we get to feel the same shock he does? Why? Because he's a fucking idiot. Um. And the way he just talks to, to the kid, to Miles, or tries to, is just fucking rubbish. I know that in a, in a funeral, in a wake, it's really hard to come up with words because all in all, words cannot match the amount of grief that someone goes through when a really close person uh, dies. But you could just say something like, Hey, I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, I I knew your father. I don't know you, but I know your father, and he was a great guy. And you know, and go from there. Not make Peter being this fucking retarded asshole. Like I like he's not an asshole because he means to, but god damn it, does he sound fucking retarded by option. Uh, by choice, man. It just is just really really bad. I mean Story-wise could be really really good, but it just poorly executed now the game is still beautiful gameplay wise But man it just like the game has some really cool ideas, but it just executes them executes them like rubbish like making the character Peter Parker like oh fuck man. This guy's fucking stupid. I Don't know Man, I just can't, I don't know, maybe it's nostalgia speaking, because Spider-Man 2, I just don't feel that I, I was playing every, uh, you know, like, a, a stupid Spider-Man, because right now I do feel that I'm playing a stupid Spider-Man. Nothing to do with the jokes or whatever, because he can joke around, most of them are funny, and that's just part of his quirky personality, but the fucking, like, when it's serious talk, whether it's Mary Jane whether it's Miles, whether it's Lee, come on. Oh man, I'm so sleepy. Like, come on, like, step up, you know? I double check, the, the girlfriend that dies is Gwen Stacy. For whatever reason, I wasn't even aware that she has had an affair with the Green Goblin, which is Harry's father, Mayor Oscorp. I don't know, I don't know, I have no idea. I mean, <laughs> cheating is bad enough, but I don't think you deserve to die over it. 
To me, just any regular, any other lie. MJ's hunch was right. The place is crawling with demons. Gotta take these guys out, then have a look around. All right, Peter. Come on. Okay, that's all of them. Oh, high security lock. They use these on banks, not recycling centers. Maybe if I can find where it gets its power from. Okay. <laughs> Looks like I could override the circuit. I need my electric webs. Well, that did something. It looks like the circuits need a little more juice. Junction box. Hold on. There. Looks like the circuit's still stable. Maybe there's another junction box close by. Gotcha. Almost Holy there. shit, there's One more a box should do it.
There. That's it. Okay, so what I was saying before is like, in terms of cheating, and I have been cheated before, to me it's just a like any other lie. Lying is unacceptable. Is unacceptable. Like, there's no reason to lie. So, like, let's say that someone, I don't know, um, they tell me they are somewhere, but they are not. To me, that's reason enough for me to break up, like, I can't trust you. And without trust, there's no point in a relationship. So, when it, when it comes to cheating, it's the same exact thing. So, no way. For me, it's the same kind of bullshit. Now, uh, again, so Parker just, I don't know, like, Gwen, Gwen Stacy shouldn't have died just because of the cheating. Like, I don't feel, I feel bad that she died, but it doesn't make me feel, well, she was a cheater, so fuck it. Like, no, that's not the way I think. That's all I wanted to do. <laughs> the heck. from Fisk's armory. Truck bombs? This is crazy. Explosives from Fisk's construction site. These must be where they're planning to attack. Wait, these are Osborne campaign offices. So maybe Lee is trying to become the mayor. Lots of high-tech equipment. Maybe later I can recycle this stuff into some weapons of my own. This wasn't a gang war. The demons were stealing from Fist to go after Mayor Osborne. Hey, did you find Lee? No, but you were right. Lee's using this place as a front for the demons. Bomb making, gun running. And it looks like they're planning another attack. This time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. We must have some kind of beef with Norman Osborne. I found an address here. I think it's their staging area. If I hurry, I might be able to stop them. <sighs> be careful. Speaking of Mary Jane. Yuri, it's me. Make it quick. I'm busy getting yelled at by my boss. Martin Lee and the demons are planning another attack, this time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. Are you sure? We've had a lot of false leads in the past week. Trust me on this one. I'm sending you the address of a recycling center. You'll find all the evidence there. Got it. I'll get those campaign offices evacuated. But if you're wrong about this, you're gonna help me find a new job. <laughs> That's amazing. So, speaking of Mary Jane, long story short, she will die of cancer because Peter Parker's sperm is radioactive. Consolidated shipping. A lot of guys. I should try to do this quietly, but also with style. Alright, more stealth. What do you want me to do? Trip mine. I can use that stuff I found at the recycling center. Oh shit, this is amazing. Crap. Nice. Love using bad guys' own weapons against them.
Oh, this. And that, my friends, is what karmic justice looks like. Snipers. Oh, it's beneath me. Sleep it off. That was really lucky for me. Literally didn't see that coming. He's not out here. Better check inside. All right. Good thing I stopped this when I did. You could blow up half of Manhattan with this stockpile. These guys aren't kidding around.
have bases all around the city. Okay. Hearts. Why hearts? can I find around here? Why don't they... I don't know, like, show up, though? Huh. Invoice from an auto shop. Pale horse rides. That's one expensive tune-up. This is bigger than I thought. Looks like the demons have an army. Maybe I need to leave, I don't know. As if one deadly glowing whip wasn't enough. I don't know what I was expecting, but it was definitely not this. Hey, MJ. I think I stopped the demon's attack on Osborne's campaign offices. Nice. Did you find me? No, but I found something we should look into. A place called Pale Horse Rise. Sounds familiar. I'll check it out and get back to you. Mm. Silverbird, we're descending to location. There's another one. Safety's off. Well, this is new. No, no, no. This one's mine. All right. I'm executing this son of a. Hey! That's not how we do things. Down. How? Code SM1. Whoa, whoa! Before we do this. Who the hell are you guys? Code SM1. Code SM1. Holding for orders. Copy code SM1. I have a visual. Hold for Silverburn. Entrance. Solid eight out of ten. Nine out of ten. Release him. He works with us. Yuri, explanation, please. 
This is Silver Sablanova, head of Sable International, a private security force. Paid for by Mayor Osborne. Oh, the mayor has a pet army now? Next time you get in my way, I will not be so gentle. Go. We'll talk later. Okay. Hey, sorry about that stable thing. I should have told you earlier, but it all happened so fast. It's okay. We're still best buds. We're not best buds. Well, that took a dark turn. Anyway, Sable has the mayor's ear and unchecked authority. We've searched that address you gave me, found plenty of evidence of a bomb plot, but nothing that leads back to Martin Lee. I'm working on that. All right, do I have the hearts now? Yes, I do. Hmm. There's not many of them. Hey, MJ. Hey, so I dredged up some records on Martin Lee's other business holdings. He's got places all over the city. Huh. The locations line up with a map I found at that shipping business. I'll check them out. Let me know what you find at each one, and I'll work on building a case. You got it. I'm headed to Lee's office at Feast to see if I can learn more about why he's doing this, and what he's got planned next. Okay, say hi to May for me. Wait, you don't think she's in danger, do you? No. Lee's only got one target on his mind. Norman Osborne. I missed another call from Doc. Peter, I wanted to make sure you're still available. I can't pay you yet, but I've pulled enough strings to keep the wolves from the door a bit longer. If we can get up and running, I know this new version of the project will attract investment. Massive investment. Stay ready. Fingers triple crossed, Doc. Teams oh, I know what to do. Control. Do you have an update of your position? Control. Our APC is under attack by demons. Okay, now I'm just showing off. Sweet dreams. Ooh, getting brisk out here. Better go in. And without further ado... MJ, I'm at the first location on your list, and guess what I found? Demons? Give the lady a prize. See if you can figure out what they're up to while I introduce myself.
Where's my shift change, huh? Good. Cause these other guys, not impressive. I can see it's more like illegal weapons. And this might come as a shock, but I don't think they're really bespoke. The hipster assassins are gonna be so disappointed. <laughs> MJ, call the police. I've got the place secured. Nice job. Anytime we can get guns off the street, it's a win. Yay. No, I don't want to replay. But I think... Oh, I got a new suit. What the heck? Show me. What kind of suit is this? I don't think so. Mm hmm. I bet you guys get great reception up here. Welcome to the air show. Boy, they really didn't want me going in. Which means I'm going in. MJ, I'm at location number two. Can you believe these demons wear their masks just like walking around? Let's make for confusing staff meetings. I'll try to figure out their operation while you throw a wrench into it.
Ready night. Trip mines, okay. I don't know why he's saying so long to respawn. Paparazzi? Yeah, I didn't think so. Peter, that location's a clearinghouse for donations to these charities. 
clothes, books. They're trucked in from drop boxes all over town. Sounds like a perfect distribution network for drug running. Which it looks like is their real priority. Okay, now I'm just going off. Get here so fast! I know it's not the sixth train! What? I'm evading. MJ, I've got the place locked down. Great. I'll call in an anonymous tip. I bet if the police check out those drop boxes, they'll find something more interesting than secondhand jeans. Oh well. <laughs> International. Let me see. They're an international security firm, usually hired by governments to end revolutions or start them. The last thing we need is a city full of trigger happy mercenaries. Whoa, social media is blowing up. They're setting up checkpoints around the city, doing random stop and frisks. This is crazy. No, this is Norman Osborne feeling threatened. So much for the opening act. Main events inside. It is, but I'm gonna stop it right here. So thank you so much for joining me. I'm running out of time, and I'll see you soon.